Hello everyone, welcome back once again. So today's topic is uh, we are going to develop a simple program using Python to generate a multiplication table for n numbers. So basically you might have come across, uh, uh, across a program to, uh, to generate a table for a particular number. But what we are going to do is uh, we are going to accept a number n. For example, it is four. Okay, the user gives the input as four. And then we will store four different numbers in a list. That is five, six, seven, and eight, example. And uh, then we are going to generate a multiplication table in this format, as you can see. So there is a, a table of five, six, seven, and eight. So this is how we are going to produce the output. It's a simple program, but maybe as a beginner, you might find this uh, interesting. It will help you to clear the concepts of uh, looping. Okay, so immediately we will get started with this. So what we will do is first we will accept a number n. Okay, so I'll give a message that enter a number. And then, then I will collect four different numbers or number n. I will collect n different numbers and store those numbers in a list. So, so, so simple, I will use a for loop. I will go from range that is still four. So I want these four iterations. And again, I will give the message. So I will collect that in a temp variable, okay? Or I can do it this way also. I will declare the list, empty list before the, uh, before the loop. And then I can use it this way. L dot append to to add the numbers into the list and straight away I can give uh, I can give a message over here that is int input function enter 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 the number okay enter the number or something so I'll be accepting oh I have not it will won't be four it will be n so whatever the user gives n if it is four then it will go for four times if it is five then I will accept five different numbers and I will directly store that those numbers into a list so I can do this in an indirect way also I can just use some temp variable if you're getting confused by this as a beginner so we can do it this way also and then I can store that temp variable I can append that into the list so one by one we'll be storing the numbers into the list okay so this is how we have uh, done it now the next is generating the generating the table okay so so simple we just require one small for loop for I in if I go for range 1 to 11 now I'm taking this as 1 to 11 because I want the table from uh, till 10, right? Like for example, it's if the number is 5, so 5 into 1, 5 into 2, and till 5 into 10. So I want this range function to generate a series from 1 to 10. And then what I will do is I will access each element from this list, okay? Sim with using a simple print statement, okay? So for example, I have to print the output as if the number in the list, the first number in the list is 5. Okay, so I would I have to print 5 then into, so I will use the x, then I will print i which will be 1 and then 5 into 1 that is 5. So this is what I have to do. So what I, what I will do is I will access the first number from the list okay so I'm taking this as an example if the first number in the list is 5 so you can give any number you can store any number in the list and we will access the first number in the list so how can I access it I can access it using the index value so uh, L of I minus 1 now I'm doing I minus 1 because the index value starts from 0 and we are starting the loop from 1 right starting the loop from 1 to 10 but I want 0 to access the first so I'm doing this minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so it will access the index place 0 the item the number that will be uh, at index value 0 will be taken uh, so I, I will print that particular number and then give a comma 
and then you can print the x that is into you can say then comma and then we can print i okay so i will be initially one then it will be two so five for example if the first item is five so five into one then comma then again i want this equal to sign give a comma and then you can print the product that is l of i minus one into i so if, if it is five so five into i 5 into 1, 5 into 2, and so on, it will produce the product. Okay, so what we will do is we will run this program. Okay, uh, but before running, okay, this particular loop will only produce, okay, I'll just put this entire thing under, under a comment. Okay, why I'm doing this because I'll just show you what uh, will happen with this loop. Now what will happen with this loop is, for example, I take this straight away, I will display the table of 5, so 5 into i. Now you, if you see this output for this, okay, so here is, this is the output that we got, so 5 into 1, 5, then it came to the next line, 5 into 2, that is 10, 5 into 3, right, so simple, we got this output, but this is not what we want. Uh, we want uh, for all the n numbers, so one table of 5 is here, maybe 6 is over here, 7, then, uh, you know, 8 and so on, whatever the numbers are. So what we are going to do, this logic will actually not work with us. What we need to do is we need to access the first element in the list, that is maybe 5. So 5 into 5, 5 into 1 is equal to 5, then give a space and then I have to print 6 into 1 because we, we need to be in the same line. So 5 into 5, then 6 into uh, 1, 5 into 1, 6 into 1, 7 into 1, and 8 into 1. And then we need to come to the next line to, do, to print the next uh, uh, next uh, multiplication table, that means for 5 into 2, right? And then 6 into 2, 7 into 2, and 8 into 2. So uh, because once we come to the next line, we cannot uh, go uh, above the line, right? We, so this is a problem. So we need to do all the... Uh, you know the multiplications for all the numbers for the series 1 so 5 into 1 then 6 into 1 7 into 1 and then 8 into 1 and then we need to come to the next line so for this what we need to do is okay now I'll just remove this comments and then we will make few modifications in this logic so first thing that I need to do is I need to access the I need to access uh, the index value so I will give the len of L okay so len of L if there are there might be four numbers five numbers seven numbers so if there is four so it will run from 0 to 4 and then then inside this I need to uh, I need to start a for loop okay or maybe even this logic may not work so I'll keep this as 1 comma 11 first thing and then over here I will do a J in range and I will go for the len of L okay maybe this will work so now if I say print and then what I will do is I will access the access the um, the index value that is L of J okay so J will be initially 0 so for example if the list has the numbers like 5 6 7 8 just assume it okay so this is what the list has so 5 so I will take access 5 first and then I will multiply that by okay then I will display the X okay then comma then i will display i now i will be one over here and this j will run for all the uh, you know we are going to this is the list travel sir that we will do first it will access five so five into one and then it will print access six because the innermost loop will complete first j will become one so it will six into one then seven into one and eight into one and then i becomes two 
okay once this loop gets over so uh, what i need to do is uh, i then equal to and then l of j into uh, into i okay and then i need to give some some tab okay a tab space so let's see how what what output we will get from uh, this program okay uh, hope everything is fine okay let's run this now it will accept for numbers so I'll give some four numbers maybe two five seven and nine okay so here it is okay it is giving everything into the next line so what i need to do over here is give a end is equal to uh, a null string nothing so basically it will stay in the same line now we will see the output okay so give let us give four numbers for two five eight and nine so here it is now you can see the output isn't it okay but there is a problem there is some some problem there is a three four five 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 is missing okay then two then five eight nine and then it again brought two okay so what i need to do over here is uh maybe outside the loop i will give a print now we will see the output okay here let's give four numbers so here it is now we got almost all almost all you can say a perfect uh, output okay but uh, if you see okay this numbers are not properly aligned you can see okay over here this got properly aligned because these are two digit, two digit numbers so it is it looks a bit uh, unappropriate the output okay so let us align this by uh, the right hand side everything so these are two digit numbers this is a single digit number so we have this uh, uh, mismatch kind of thing right so it doesn't look good so let us just format this how to format it first thing is this i i goes from 1 to 10 so once this becomes 10 then there is a formatting problem so what i have to do is i have to just format this with colon give a two uh, this is a kind of a padding that i'm using okay and the format function so this will give a padding of two and the, the numbers will get, get displayed from the from the right hand side once you see the output you will get an idea what exactly i'm doing okay and over here also i can do the same thing dot format okay let us okay and dot format and then the brackets okay so now we will see the output now we should get a proper formatted output i will give it for five numbers this time maybe uh, two five six seven eight and you can see the output now okay now this is uh, you know almost all we have a perfect output we got this gap in because uh, it reached to the end of line so i will run it against and uh, run it again and give some less numbers maybe four okay so now you can see the output okay now we had see you can see the output now it's properly formatted right now this this particular thing that format function we gave a space padding of two actually so the padding works it works like you know there are two uh, two uh, you know blocks set for this number so and it displays from uh, the right hand side so these are the two blocks and when it comes to two digit number it occupies all the blocks so in case if i give this as four uh, okay i'll keep this as two and make this as four so you can understand the difference and how it exactly works okay there is something went wrong i will just run this again okay uh, maybe four numbers then five this uh, four numbers and now you can see this is the the padding that I gave for four digits. So this is the first block, second, third, and fourth. So this is how you know you can do the formatting. Okay, but it doesn't look that good. So it's I guess two is fine. And now we can have the perfect output in front of us. Okay. So here it is. 
So I hope this tutorial is very much clear to you. Maybe it's very easy program for you, but a few of you maybe as a beginner, you can find this program a bit interesting. Okay, so before I end up, I will just take the summary. What we are doing is we are running an I loop from 1 to 10, and then I'm running a J loop where I will access every element, multiply that by I, that is that number of zeroth position into I, and then uh, the J loop will take the next number that is first maybe it took 5 then it took 6 I remains 1 for the this J loop so first we'll do 5 into 1 then it will access 6 6 into 1 then 7 into 1 then 8 into 1 and the loop ends and then I becomes 1 and then again we access 5 into uh, I becomes 2 I mean to say then we have 5 into 2 6 into 2 7 into 2 and 8 into and this is how the program actually works. So I hope this uh, tutorial is clear to you. Bye for now. So before I say goodbye to you, do subscribe to my channel. There's a subscribe button in front of you. Click on that. And after that, uh, click on the bell icon so that you can get regular no notifications of my upcoming videos. And always remember one thing in your life that impossible is nothing. Bye for now.